on the surface, track and field appears to be an individual endeavor. Athletes largely compete against the clock or the tape measure. Certainly the term unattached alludes to the sport's solitary nature. But at the collegiate level, track and field is very much a team sport, especially during the championship meets. Athletes compete for a common purpose. Leadership and selflessness become premium qualities. The relays encapsulate the team dynamic to the ultimate degree in collegiate track and field. According to then UC Davis head coach Deanne Vachetzer, few Aggies flourished in those events like Tanisha Silas. One of the things about relays is sometimes magic can happen where, where some athletes just, you put a stick in their hand and they become superwomen. And although T was a good 200 meter runner, a quality 400 meter runner, you put a stick in her hand and anything could happen and did happen. I always ran her at leadoff and or second leg, which we call cut leg. Both the leadoff leg is the longest leg and one of the toughest legs. Second leg is that if we got in trouble, with a leadoff leg, then I knew Tanisha would catch us back up so that Rose Chris and Camila Elarms had a shot to get it done. Formerly a standout at Hogan High School in Vallejo, Silas became a fixture in the Aggies 4x4 squads from 1999 through 2002. She earned a total of six All-America awards in the long relays. Silas added three conference championships, plus a runner-up finish also in the 4x4. In 2000, the crew of Amber Taylor, Silas, Rose Chris, and Camila Elarms finished second at the national outdoor meet. Their time of 3 minutes 40.57 seconds stood as the school record for almost 13 years. In 2001, Silas led off the second place relay at the NCAA indoor meet. That time of 3.45.05 still stands as the Aggie indoor benchmark. By her career's end, Silas was the only name listed in each of the program's top five outdoor 4x400 relay times. That list remained untouched until 2010 when UC Davis was in its third year of official Division I membership. Again, D. Vachatzer. I never had to say a word to a relay team that T was ever on because she would tell the ladies, you all better strap on your skates because we're going to get this done. And she meant it. She goes, I'm going to lay it out there. I expect you to lay it out there. And if they didn't, she was the first one in their girl, not me. You know, so she was, and it was all about teams. She always gave every single thing that she had, which she did to her academics also. Silas's scholastic record shined even brighter than her track achievements. She graduated with the highest honors, earning a department citation as the top senior in her major of neurobiology, physiology, and behavior. In 2002, Silas paired her athletic and academic accomplishments with her volunteer work at the UC Davis Medical Center to claim the prestigious NCAA Woman of the Year Award. In fact, that 1999 4x4 relay team owns an impressive record when it comes to the NCAA Woman of the Year honor. Jamila Demby won it in 1999. Camila Elarms advanced to the top 10 in 2001. Rose Chris, an outstanding sprinter and honors student in her own right, likely would have contended for the award had she graduated in a different year. In 2002, the honor belonged to Silas. As athletics director, Greg Warzeka said at the time, she epitomizes what UC Davis student athletes are all about and what this prestigious award stands for. Those sentiments remain as true tonight as they did 12 years ago, granting Dr. Tanisha Silas Young a deserved entrance into the Cal Aggie Athletics Hall of Fame. <laughs>